So last night I was on TikTok for a reasonable and responsible amount of time, as I always am, when TikTok thought, you know what? We think this is Chris's jam, and then proceeded to show me this. See, I flip open my Bible and I said, God, what do you want me to say to these people? See, I, I don't know what to say I never do, but God does. And so I flip open to Matthew chapter 27, and I have this one word, I'm not even kidding. You see it? This one word of this entire page. It says remorseful. So much to unpack right off the bat. You see, David here is a Christian influencer. Now, why TikTok thought that's my jam, I have no clue. As I've mentioned before, like when we watched that maniac televangelist Kenneth Copeland spit on people, I'm not a religious person. If you are, that's great. If you're not, that's great too. Now today, I'm not gonna be dogging on anyone's religious beliefs. We're just here to observe David. This is Judas who betrayed Jesus was remorseful. Now there is no way that this man is not either bawling his eyes out or taking the fattest rip off a bong before filming these. Look at those eyes. And I can't help but feel like I am constantly in trouble when I'm listening to him. I don't know what I did, but it's not gonna fly with David. First, Max, I wanna say I love you, bro, and I genuinely mean that. But I wanna use this as an example. See, you don't know this, but you're fulfilling biblical prophecy. See, people are hating on me recently, and I've said nothing wrong. I've only said what Jesus has said. David, I'm going to go out on a limb here and just take a guess that Max isn't calling you a, a fucking lunatic because you're spreading the good word. I would say maybe it's because you're displaying, I guess, lunatic-like behavior. And I don't think he hates you. I don't, I don't hate him. There's only one man I hate, and that is Steven Crowder. I hate that man. Maybe he could have not used the words fucking lunatic, but that's, that's, that's on Max. I got a nice camera today. <laughs> it's, uh... It's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm so stoked about it. Now look at that. that. That's great. David's going out there and he thought, you know what? I'm going to do something for myself. I'm going to treat myself. Get something that makes me happy. And you know what? I love that for him. <laughs> and as I was in the car, God reminded me how this could shatter in a second. God reminded me how my possessions will be put in a junkyard or in a uh, thrift store. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe in an antique shop where I got this. Everything that I love will turn to rust. Everything that I hold so dear will be eaten by moths. No possession, no item can bring you satisfaction. David, I, j I just want you to be happy. <laughs> this man cannot do a damn thing without being reminded that th things have to suck. You know, I got this camera the other day and you know, I was so stoked. I thought this is, this is the coolest thing, but then I remembered. This is just gonna end up in some thrift shop or antique mall. My body is gonna be in a box. And you know what was nice? It was nice feeling, feeling uh, what, what you people call happiness for a few seconds, but Jesus said, no, 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 no. Not David, and I'm thankful for that. If Christianity were illegal, would there, would there be enough evidence to convict you? If following Jesus was a crime, would there be, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Probably not. I want you to think about this. Do your friends know you're really following Christ? Okay, David, in this situation where I am a Christian being hunted down, to be prosecuted, to be killed, to be punished, maybe I'm not gonna wave the Christ flag, okay? Maybe, maybe th it's a good thing that I'm not. I think when David started posting on the Teen Clock app, his intentions were to have a whole bunch of people discover Christ through him doing whatever it is he's doing. But he's not making it look appealing. <laughs> also, I can't get this out of my head. If you just close your eyes, this is Justin Long going on a tangent. Listen, God has been too good to you to just to sit on the sidelines. And Jesus has done way too much for you just to say, hey, hey, the other guys... The I'm so other sorry, guys David. I'll, I'll never do whatever it is I did again. Please Jesus just tell me what I did. Let me go. died while you were still sinning. He didn't wait for you to get good, to get better. He died for you while you were still in your sin, my friend. David, I'm pretty That's sure he died before I was born. There was nothing I could do about it. I just saw a video that kind of scared me. Was it one of your own videos, perhaps? Because that sounds about right to me. Mm -hmm. The basis of the video was, sometimes people say church is boring, but that's okay, find the right one for you. Well, welcome to America, where if the band is bad, we leave the church. Where if the, the times aren't really right for us, we just decide not to go anymore. And if the child care isn't that great, well, no more church for our little kids, right? What does that even mean, if the child care is not great? I would say if I'm going anywhere where someone's going to be watching my kids and the child care is not good, I think... I think maybe I'm just a, a fucking 
idiot, I would maybe want the child care to be good, you know, <laughs> because that's kind of important. COVID arguably wiped out half the church population, not because of death, but because of spiritual death. The virus just exposed what Americans really love, being comfortable and being safe. Oh, okay, all right. You know, David, you're right. What am I doing going around trying to be comfortable and safe all the time? Fucking stupid, stupid, stupid. Hey, are you, uh, are you comfortable? Good, good. Are you safe? Great. Um, reminds me of someone I know who, uh, didn't feel quite comfortable or safe when he was having his hands and feet nailed to a cross. That man's Jesus Christ. What would he think if you were sitting there on your couch? not being nailed to a cross. If Jesus being perfect, never doing any wrong, never sinning once, healing people in God's name, had people who hated him, had Pharisees and religious elites who wanted to kill him, what makes you think people are gonna like you for some reason? Uh, I, I don't know. Why, why would they? Quick reminder that you're no better than anyone you come across. So humble yourself. David, you have already done that for me quite, quite well. Let me take a quick guess here, and you don't go to bed till 4, 3 a.m. So what? Fuck. And you might not know this, but I think I do know why you, you do this is because you actually don't want to deal with your thoughts, your questions, the voices, the memories. I am now convinced this man is making these TikToks for one man. Maybe that's Max, the guy that called him a fucking lunatic, but he is making them for one person. One person who he knows, he knows what they did. Hey Max, I don't know why you stay up till 4, 3 a.m. in the morning. It's because of the voices, the images of all those who you've slain. You can't escape them, Max, I know you can't. You can't escape me either. Listen, online church is wonderful. I do online ministry, but you need to find a local church. You need you need to get plugged into somewhere. You just channeled like dad yelling at his kids energy there. You you need you need to find a place. A building, bricks, mortar, roofs, a man, a bible. You need to find that, okay? Son, I'm, 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 I'm tired of this this online shit. Online church? You might as well shoot me in the fucking head pour out onto you and into you in person. Ah, oh, gross. Ugh. Get this, gods aren't golden statues. Sometimes gods could be, uh, phones. Like the one you're using constantly to spread your message? That thing you're telling us to get rid of? <laughs> I just pierced through this phone. This god of yours. You see this? This god? I just killed god. You see, Max, if I can kill god, then I can find you, you little weasel. I can get my hands on you. Maybe it's time you toss away things that aren't giving you satisfaction, like fake phony phones and th these gods, these idols that give you no worth. I feel like you could take any little tidbit from his rants and just put them in the beginning of an Imagine Dragon song and it would work. Well, guys, I think I've had enough of this man scolding me for what it is I did. And I think the same goes for you guys too. Whatever the fuck you did, I fuck you for it, I guess. That being said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating. It helps me out a bunch. And if you're new here and you like the channel, consider subscribing. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.